Hi, this is Dr. Graves from the CSUN Geography Department, and this is a quick video tutorial demonstrating how to download data from the County Business Patterns database using the American Fact Finder. This uh, tutorial has been updated for 2016 because the County Business Patterns uh, download interface has changed dramatically making some of my earlier video tutorials essentially useless. Start with a search window and type in American Fact Finder. You will click on this link to open the American Fact Finder. Click on Advanced Search. Click on Show Me All. Click on Topics from the drop-down window or the pop-up window, select Year. I'm going to select 2010 because I know with some certainty that that data exists for the county business patterns. You may try a subsequent year or an earlier year, 2010. By clicking on it, 2010 now appears in my filter selections. Click Close. Click on Topics. Once again, click on Business and Industry. Open Establishments and Firm and select Establishments with Payroll. That dramatically reduces the number of databases available to you. Click on Industry Codes. From the list of codes here, select Total for All Sectors and select Add. Close the Select Industry Codes dialog box. Select Geographies. Select the geographic type and we want to select five-digit zip code. It will ask us what state. We'll go ahead and select California and we want to select all five-digit zip codes fully within California. Click Add to your selections. Close the Select Geography window select County Business Patterns zip code statistics total for zip code and a table will appear and this table is good enough for our purposes what we are seeking is to collect the data from number of establishments here notice that um, in some zip codes there is a noise flag which tells us that there are so few establishments that it would be inappropriate for the government to share that data with the general public. Click download. I think that this CSV format is probably the best one to use, uh, though you may also try Microsoft Excel. See which one works best for you. This comes as a zip file with four files contained inside the single zip code. Click OK. This takes a moment. I'm going to click download and I'm going to watch to see if the browser blocks the download. I may have to tell the browser that it is OK to trust the US Census. Click download. I get a dialog box down here. Do you want to open or save? For this process, I'm going to click open and my zip, WinZip program automatically opens up, uh, allows me to see into these the zipped data. Because the only data that I'm really interested in, in is the large data set, I notice that the largest of the ones I'm going to uh, double click and to open the file using Microsoft Excel. And this is exactly the data I want. 
column G is the data that I'm most interested in. And I'm going to save this file um, as a new file. I'll give it a name, file, save as. And I will just save this one on my desktop. You may want to save it somewhere else. And I'm going to call it County Business Patterns, SIP, California, 2010. I will save it as a Excel workbook. Click OK. Next, I want to go back to my County Business Pattern data. And I will click back to advanced search. I want to remove total for all sectors because I want to look up um, fast food establishments in the zip codes in California. So I'm going just to click here to remove. Now I want to return to industry codes. Click once to open that dialog window. I want to click under industry subsector and once that expands scroll down to find 722 category food services and drinking places. I'm going to click that once and now a list of food services and drinking establishment options appear. Limited service restaurants are the ones that we want because this is um, the government's description of fast food joints. I'm going to click add to my selection. It appears over here. I'm going to close the select industry codes window and click once on the link to open this table. Okay. Here is the problem with simply downloading this data because uh, we will get more rows, 32,000 rows of data here, and that's too many to download. We don't really need all of these extraneous rows of data to complete our analysis. So I need to click on Modify Table button and filter this column, meaning of employment size of establishment. So once I click on the filter button, this pop-up window appears and I select 001 code for just all establishments that are fast food restaurants. Click OK and now the extraneous rows have um, disappeared and I may click download once again, leaving it on the comma delimited zip file. Click OK. Click download. When the pop-up window appears, click open and double click on the largest file of the four. Click open and another window appears. I'm going to simply copy this data. I could save it and I'm going to return to the data that I just saved. I'm going to leave three or four blank columns here and paste the data into a blank space. Now I'm going to pause and this will conclude the download section of this video tutorial.